Hi there, welcome Striders. And as promised, making strides has been reimagined. Yeah, right, Jason, this is Strides 2020. Here we are. Nothing can stop the making strides spirit. I'm Benita Zahn, and News Channel 13 is once again a very proud sponsor of this event. Proud to join the American Cancer Society because making strides against breast cancer is just so important. This is the 27th year since the walk was first founded nationwide and the 25th year since we started our walk here in the Capital Region. This is different for many of us locally, but internationally as well because of the impact of the global pandemic. Well, you know what? We always say global pandemic. Pandemic means global. So we're going to take that right out of our I script. Learned something new today. Good. That's, isn't that all part of it? But look, the pandemic's changed all of us. And we're here, though, and we are united in this fight against breast cancer. And I thank you for your commitment. And I've already sort of introduced Jason Goff, who is a familiar face and longtime supporter of Making Strides here in Albany. Thanks, Benita. And to everybody at the American Cancer Society, Lizzie Hunter is off to our left. And all the folks at the American Cancer Society, before we get into this, they have done so much to try to keep everything going as normally as possible in a completely abnormal world. And uh, so we thank you for joining us here this morning. We've had folks that have stopped by and gotten some pictures taken. And there's lots of things that we can do throughout the month. And we'll be keeping you posted on all of that. But I want to wish everybody a very good morning. Making Strides has always been more than just a walk. It's a movement. And because of the pandemic and how we unite and fight back this year will look very different, of course, with masks and everything else. But our passion to end breast cancer remains unchanged. In 2020, we're making it easier for everyone and anyone, anywhere, to make an impact. You can visit makingstrideswalk.org forward slash Albany today to sign up, donate, and invite your network to save lives. And there are lots of different things that you can do that you'll see on the site, um, even if it's just taking a walk in the neighborhood with the dog, whatever it is that you want to do. The amount of community support that we have for making strides against breast cancer of Albany and the American Society's mission, the work is heartwarming. It's today is filled with so much promise and it wouldn't be possible without your support. So thank you. Thank you for coming out today. Thank you for all the time and effort you put into raising the funds that will allow the American Cancer Society to help not just our people in the community, but everywhere. And I know that uh, we've got a lot of friends out there who are doing their walks today. So if you are, when you are, make sure you post pictures and do the hashtag Albany Strides. The impact of COVID-19 has changed the way we're able to fight back this year. But it goes far beyond how we are able to gather because it could reduce our ability to fundraise for cancer research by 50 percent. That would be our lowest investment this century. Millions in breast cancer research could go unfunded, and that would not be good. 1.4 million calls could go unanswered. There's no time to wait. We have to be bolder, we have to be braver, and we have to be stronger than ever before. Today, we must take action by raising the critical dollars that will allow the American Cancer Society to invest in breast cancer research to provide pre-information and to support those facing the disease today and educate people about how to reduce their risk for breast cancer or to detect it early. Now I'd like to share a message with you from Anthony Marino, Executive Vice President of the American Cancer Society and Capital Region native. Hi everybody. Normally on a beautiful fall day like this, we'd all be together for making strides against breast cancer. Unfortunately in 2020, it doesn't give us that opportunity but as always, everyone here at the American Cancer Society appreciates all of your support. And while we long for that normalcy where we can be back together again, imagine how those newly diagnosed breast cancer patients feel in their families. So everything that you do to help us this year, all of your support, I have to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of our staff, our volunteers, and those that we serve in our communities. Thank you so much for supporting the American Cancer Society and take care. Anthony, thank you for your leadership and your dedication to the mission. 279,000 women and 2,600 men will be diagnosed with breast cancer in 2020. Individuals like you 
our sponsors, our community supporters have all joined Making Strides to change those statistics. It's important to note that Making Strides in Albany wouldn't be possible without the support from so many businesses and organizations who've stepped up here as leaders. I love it, giving a little wave in the background because we've got folks who are coming down today. You can see them right there. They all signed up, made a time to be here, mm -hmm. make a donation, you know, spend a little time in the pink zone, as it were. Now, I, I was saying, Albany, it's important to note making strides in Albany wouldn't be possible without the support from so many businesses and organizations who've stepped up as leaders here in the Capital Region to help the American Cancer Society continue to lead the fight against breast cancer. So, our thanks. Thank you, Avon the national presenting sponsor for Making Strides Against Breast Cancer. Together with their Avon representatives, customers and employees, they have affected and had an impact on millions of women and contributed over $800 million to breast cancer. We also want to thank our flagship sponsors, St. Peter's Health Partners and Empire Blue Cross for continuing their support <clears throat> of Making Strides of Albany. Let's hear why the cause is so important to them. Hi, I'm Meredith with St. Peter's Health Partners, and we have been a flagship sponsor of Making Strides Against Breast Cancer since it first launched in the Capital Region 25 years ago. We joined the Making Strides of Albany movement to support our patients, our colleagues, our mothers, our daughters, and our friends. For us, it's personal. Many of us at St. Peter's are breast cancer survivors. We have treated patients while undergoing treatment ourselves. We know how difficult the journey is. We couldn't have gotten through it without support. That's why we make strides to walk others through their journey. Because, because there's, there's strength, strength in strength numbers. 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 Compassionate care is at the core of our mission. As nurse navigators, we understand the path our patients must travel. And that's why we support making strides. As physicians, we are committed to delivering the highest care to our cancer patients. We ensure that all patients have every advantage of everything we know about defeating this disease. For more than two decades, Making Strides has funded breakthrough research, 24-7 support for cancer patients, and access to life-saving treatments. We joined Making Strides to continue that progress and support. Hi, I'm Karen Generali with Empire Blue Cross and we are a proud sponsor of Making Strides Against Breast Cancer. We joined the Making Strides Albany movement because breast cancer affects so many of our family members, our friends, our colleagues, and our clients. And we want to support the important work the American Cancer Society does. At Empire, our mission is to materially and measurably improve the health of all New Yorkers. That's why we contribute to programs like Making Strides that focus on providing support to the community and working towards better health outcomes in the future. In addition, we provide important information on breast cancer to our members through our communications program. We share information on screening and why it's important. We incentivize members to participate in breast cancer research. And when we notice a member is overdue for a mammogram, we remind them to get screened and reward them when they do so. Through these efforts, we hope to play a small role in improving outcomes for breast cancer as we work towards developing a cure. And thanks to the funds raised through Making Strides, we've made leaps in progress that have saved 375,000 lives. Let's continue to save lives. Thank you very much to St. Peter's Health Partners and Empire Blue Cross for your support year after year for our local community. Again, we're not on the stage at Washington Park, but all of these folks are just as dedicated as ever to do what we need to do. The support in the Capital Region is just so inspiring. When I think about you, our Making Strides pace setters, grand club members, team leaders, survivors, volunteers, sponsors, and of course all of the participants, the walkers, Inspiring is the word that really comes to mind, especially this year. The time and effort you've put into raising funds is remarkable, and we just can't thank you enough. You're helping the American, Society, the American Cancer Society ensure that our future won't be put on hold. We can't and won't allow progress to stop 
because of COVID-19. At risk are more and better treatments and discoveries that will improve and save lives. And throughout the pandemic, the American Cancer Society has been there 24-7 for cancer patients and caregivers, listening to concerns and provided accurate scientific information about COVID-19 and cancer. There's always time to make a difference in the future of breast cancer treatment. Just to go, just to head over to makingstrideswalk.org forward slash Albany today to donate. The fight against cancer is done not only through fundraising and research, but also through policy change. The American Cancer Society's Cancer Action Network of New York advocate to preserve cancer screenings and access to care for everyone. ACS CAN works to reduce out-of-pocket costs for medication and stop big tobacco from targeting specific communities. ACS CAN have had several wins recently, including eliminating tobacco sales in New York pharmacies, prohibiting the sale of flavored e-cigarettes in New York, and Medicaid prescriber prevails, giving doctors and patients the final say in which medications they need. Is that we needed a policy change for that has always had me shaking my head, Jason. Of course. For more information, visit more. For more information, just go to more information or to become a member, fight visit fightcancer.org slash New York. Some of these sound like they're wrong, but they are right. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So again, that's fightcancer.org forward slash New York. And the impact, the impact of breast cancer hits not only our family members, but our coworkers, our colleagues, and friends. And I'd like to thank two more flagship sponsors, NYSET and the Capcom Foundation, who take an active role in raising awareness and fundraising as part of their organization's mission year-round. Let's hear why they're so dedicated. My name is Lynn Cipriano, and I'm a member of the Gilderland Teachers Association and NYSET. Last year, I stood on the stage in Washington Park, and in front of a crowd of thousands, I shared my recent breast cancer diagnosis and the path that lay ahead. I remember that day as one of the most empowering of my lifetime. I felt the love and support of perfect strangers. It's a year later, and I'm happy to call myself a survivor. But I didn't do it alone. And that's the message that I want everyone to hear. Even though we can't gather by the thousands in Washington Park this year and show our support through our sea of pink, I want you to know that if you're in the midst of your diagnosis and your battle, you are not alone. We hear the statistic that one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer, I think we should change our thinking a bit. For every one woman diagnosed, there are seven cheerleaders by her side. If you are not the one in eight, be the seven. Be the cheerleader. Be the shoulder to cry on, the ear to listen, the extra hands to help lighten the load. I know that I didn't make it alone. It was because of my friends, family, and colleagues who helped along the way who helped make me meals, get gift cards for takeout, who helped me to lighten my load. Every year, I will participate in the Making Strides Walk because I know what can happen when we come together. I hope you will join me in supporting the American Cancer Society so that another person can share their survivor story. Hi, it's Susan Fogarty, Chief Relationship Officer at Capcom and board member of the Capcom Cares Foundation. At Capcom, we've been a proud supporter of the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk for 25 years. We joined the Making Strides of Albany movement because so many people in the Capital Region are affected by a breast cancer diagnosis. Our community, our members, and even our employees. After 25 years of supporting Strides through fundraisers, bake sales, and of course, our team participation in the annual walk, this year, we're asking you to do something different. This year, we're asking you to donate $25 to Strides to provide access for one patient to resources, information, and help through the 24-hour helpline or live chat at www.cancer.org. Let's help ensure every patient has the information and support they need. Thank you. 
That was great. Thank you very much, Lynn and Susan. And thank you to NYSUT and the Capcom Foundation for your commitment to helping save lives from breast cancer. The end of breast cancer begins with research. You heard earlier that ACS's ability to fund cancer research could be reduced by 50 percent. An entire generation of research progress and the future it holds depends on what we do right now. We're fighting for a future where everyone has a fair and just opportunity to prevent, find, treat, and survive breast cancer. Because we cannot create a future free from breast cancer without addressing health disparities. The American Cancer Society's commitment to health equity includes a $50 million commitment in research to help understand cancer inequalities and create strategies for overcoming them. But there's more that we can do, and we need you to help us. We're thrilled that we have ACS-funded research taking place locally at Albany Medical Center. So thank you to Albany Medical Center for sponsoring Making Strides of Albany. Hi, my name is Dr. Lynn Choi from Albany Med. We are proud supporters of Making Strides in the Capital Region for the past 25 years. This is essential as breast cancer is one of the most common causes of cancer among women. Here at Albany Med, we provide a multidisciplinary approach for the treatment of our patients. We try to accommodate our patients. We have been providing weekend breast imaging as well as weekend ambulatory surgeries. But most importantly, we provide excellent compassionate specialists who are able to communicate for the better treatment of our patients. The American Cancer Society has been providing 178 research grants, providing more than $77 million in funding. Together, our support for Making Strides will fund the future. Simply thrilled. <laughs> So I was actually out riding my bike with my son and I got the phone call. We jumped off our bikes, gave each other a big high five and ran inside. Next thing I did was to tell my wife and my other son and we're just really incredibly happy and looking forward to the next four years and partnering with the ACS. With the American Cancer Society Research Scholar Grant, we will be able to look at how cancer cells metastasize, which is a process by which cancer cells move from one place to the other. This is so incredibly dangerous because most cancers start in sort of a benign place, but then move on to another place that may be a vital organ. In most cases, patients succumb from metastasis. Our hope is that by doing this work, we identify ways in which we can make new treatments that either prevent or abate metastasis. And so turning cancer into something that's a manageable disease. I think we're all eagerly awaiting that day when the pandemic is behind us. And when that day comes, cancer will still be a disease that we still must conquer. It can't stop, it can't be paused. We have to keep moving forward. We have to keep looking for treatments and for therapies and for cures. Being here in this lab is a very full circle moment that could bring me to tears just because I know that I would not be where I am today and having this kind of conversation if it wasn't for people doing the hard work that they do inside this lab. A year ago, actually, I was falling asleep one night, found a lump. I Googled signs of breast cancer for two minutes and then fell asleep and thought it was nothing. And I went in to see a doctor and they were confident it was a cyst as well. At the time I was diagnosed, I was 38 with no history. So I went through a week of tests where I just assumed it was kind of protocol. I sat down with a doctor who walked me through my tests and my ultrasounds. And at the time I even thought, yeah, yeah, let's get this over with, I know what it is. So when he said that it was a malignant carcinoma, I was, you could have knocked me over with a feather. Um, I will admit, I thought, what's a carcinoma? <laughs> That's how little I knew about cancer. And from there, it was like a rocket ship. It just took off. I had a lumpectomy. I went on two different types of chemotherapy medications, overall 16 rounds of chemotherapy, about five months of it. Then I went on to do 25 rounds of radiation. This month I'm starting tamoxifen, and tamoxifen was discovered by a researcher that was funded by ACS. 
And I feel so lucky because had I been diagnosed however many years ago, something like tamoxifen wasn't necessarily available. I am living proof and standing here today because of research and development, and that can't happen without fundraising. So we're so incredibly thankful for the ACS supporters. We wish that we could all be with you in person. We just want to make sure that you receive our message and that we're here to do this important work. Because ACS and Albany Med are coming together, we're making sure that the fight against cancer doesn't stop. That's very good. We'd like to thank Dr. Logue and Albany Medical Center and Megan for your contribution in the fight against, against breast cancer. And uh, as I go a little bit off script here, BZ, the thing about this is that, you know, we talk about when we fundraise that $25 goes toward, um, you know, providing information at Hope Club and, and resources and all kinds of care and things. And it's also important to note that the money that is raised goes to the future. It allows research like that to be done so that we can prevent future cases of, of people like Megan saying, you have breast cancer, and her saying, what in the world are you talking about? Yeah. So that's what this is all about. So we'd just like to thank you for that. The American Cancer Society is only able to make this impact because of people like you. The future can be free from breast cancer, and that future is in your hands right now. On behalf of those facing breast cancer, thank you. And you know, sometimes it can be hard to describe the true significance of the American Cancer Society's mission work and how it's touching the lives of people everywhere. So instead today, I would like to share the words of others. Here's what one cancer patient had to say about our 24-7 helpline. Quote, after a rough day of crying and worrying about insurance coverage problems that can hinder my cancer treatment, I could finally settle down and have dinner in happiness after the cancer information specialist's sympathetic conduct. The staff made me made a major impact on my life tonight. I went from crying and panic to, I'm okay, end quote. And did you know that today, there are more than three and a half million breast cancer survivors living in the United States? I'm part of that. Yes. And that's cause for celebration. We have a tradition here at Making Strides Against Breast Cancer of Albany where we take an annual survivor photo from the stage. Well. This year, of course, Jason, very different. But the celebration of our Capital Region survivors continues. Survivors provide us with so much hope and inspiration. So thank you to all the breast cancer survivors today and over the years. Together, let's watch a special survivor tribute sponsored by New York Oncology Hematology. I love that. I just love that. And don't you love them? I mean, we've been blessed to be part of this for so many years. Mm -hmm. And the women that you see year after year and how they're doing so well, they're thriving. And the folks who are new to it, how the ones who have been down this road for years are there yes. for them. Yes. And that's the thing I miss probably the most this year is doing a selfie on stage at Washington Park with all the survivors behind us. Yeah. So we're going to hopefully do that next year, folks. Don't you worry about that. Because remember, what unites us ignites us. And today we're all united in our efforts to defeat breast cancer. Don't let the excitement and hope that you feel today end when all of this is over. Keep it going by sharing what you're doing and posting 
photos on Facebook and Instagram. You can inspire others by doing that. You can even link to your fundraising page to bring in some last minute donations right up to December 31st. Again, 25 bucks allows someone to call and get the reassurance that they need from the American Cancer Society, if nothing else, to help them sleep better that night. And today we're all united in our efforts to defeat breast cancer and to fund the future of breast cancer research. Don't let the excitement again leave you today because it's gotta stick around. Keep that energy going by sharing what you're doing and posting all of these photos by using those hashtags, Albany Strides and Making Strides, and you can do that and inspire others to do the same. You can even link to that fundraising page again, as I said, for those last minute's donations. Go to makingstrides.org forward slash Albany for more information. We want to say, <clears throat> pardon, thank you to our Capital Region community, our flagship sponsors, Albany Medical Center, Capcom Foundation, Empire Blue Cross, New York State Union of Teachers, and St. Peter's Health Partners. We can do this, and we're about to do it together. We know, we know the future can be free from breast cancer. So thank you for joining the movement with us. Now, go make strides in your neighborhood. Get up, get moving. Before we say goodbye, I thought my shoes were good, but your kicks, your pink kicks are rocking it. <laughs> Ugliest shoes I've ever seen, but they get it done. They bring awareness to all of this, so happy to wear them. I think it's great. So as we say goodbye, let's remember how we traditionally celebrate together in Albany's Washington Park. And we hope to see all of you there again next year.